Welcome to this new video. This video is about column change in visual by the selection of a slicer. As you can see in this image, okay, this is the slicer and with respect to the slicer, whatever values which you are selecting in the slicer, the corresponding visual here will be changed according to the slicer. That means the corresponding column or the measure will be changing according to the slicer. So if you are clicking the production cost, this area chart will be changed to production cost area chart and now since it is selected as profit this area chart is showing as profit if you are selecting the total revenue the same will be the revenue will be shown here in this chart so how we can achieve all those you will see in this video so it is we'll be doing a simple way to achieve this and for that of course the first thing what we need is that measures the measures the basic measures we need for total revenue the total cost and the total profit which we used to get it through some or some x method in DAX and once you get the measures the next thing what we need is a table which needs to contain the name of the selection which we are going to use in the slicer if you want this revenue cost and profit to be shown in the slicer you need to give that name and with corresponding to that name you need to give a index so you have to give the two names header names as name and index or anything which you would like and that should be inside a table and this table you can write a DAX and create a table or you can uh, go to home and you can enter the data from here and you can select a table what we are going to do is that we will enter the data and we will create a table and that is a easy method here or you can just uh, import the data import the table from an excel file or anything like that whichever is easy for you you can do and in that you can you need to create a measure to get the value of this because we will be selecting the index and we need to because we need to compare that index and we need to assign that index to the measures which we are written here so for that we will be creating a measure that measure will be to select the value of this index exactly this one two three you need to get it and you need to get this index and you need to use a, another measure and in that measure we will be writing the switch case and we will be assigning those values to this to the measures we are we have created in the beginning in the beginning of course we will be creating a measure for revenue cost and profit we will assign this index to the revenue cost and profit so these two are totally different but finally we will be assigning these values to this measure and the slicer value will be this name and the visual in the visual we will be using this measure so we will see how it is being done we will try an example we are having a data set and in that data set we are having a calendar and sales details now what we can first do is that we can create these three measures we will be creating these three measures total revenue total cost and total profit and for that we need to right click here create new measure here we can create the name as total revenue equals to sum of revenue so that is our total revenue now we'll create another measure for total production cost so it will be total cost equals to sum of production cost so the next measure we are going to create is the profit so it will be total profit equals total revenue minus total cost so we have created measure for total cost profit and revenue so this step is over the next step is create a table with these same names and have an index with that so we can create a table just click on the enter data and you can create a table and here we will give it as name and index the first name we are going to give is revenue and we'll give the index as one and the next will be cost and the index is two and the third one it will be profit and the index is three and the table name what we are going to give is slicer slicer table so we got the slicer table in that we are having the index and the name now for showing in the visual post what we can do is we can create a table for all these total cost total profit and total revenue so that we can compare the values so we will be creating a table here for and then total revenue the same for date we need one day year and month so 
total revenue and now total cost and one more table we are going to create total profit that also we need year and month with total profit so we have made the table for total revenue total cost and total profit this is nothing to do with the change of column this is created just to see whether whatever value we are going to get from the change of column is right or wrong so we have created the slicer table and now we are going to do is we are need it so now we will create the slicer we can just select the slicer and in that slicer we are going to give this name the name which we created in the table we are going to give it the slicer and we can change the slicer settings and we can change this vertical orientation to horizontal orientation and we can just place it here so this is the slicer and we have the cost profit and revenue so what will happen is if you click this revenue the visual which we are going to show here will show the revenue chart and if you are selecting the profit the visual will be showing the profit so now we need to assign all these values to this visual which we are going to show here for that we need to get a measure where we will be taking this index and comparing this index we will be assigning this index to the we will take this index and we will assign this index to all this total cost total profit and total revenue so you can create a measure here and you for that that measure will be taking the index so we can give it a slicer index equals to select values and we need to get the index if you don't select the index that means if you are not selecting any of these values the default index should be one so that means if you if you select one one is for revenue and two is for cost and three is for profit so if you are not selecting any of these then this revenue will be shown as default that's why it is been written as okay if index is not selected you can get take the one as index now we will be creating a new measure and we will be selecting we will be assigning that this index to this measures so you can name it as sales measure equals to you can write a switch statement switch and the expression is that measure which we have just now created this slicer index you have to write that expression slicer slicer index and now we will write the value one the value one is for this measure total revenue so total revenue and the value 2 is for total cost and the value 3 is for total profit so this is like this in the slicer we got the in this measure we got the index and we we are assigning this index to the measures and one it will be for revenue two it will be for the cost and three it will be for the profit and now we are going to create this measure and this measure we are going to give to the visual which we are showing it here so we will be taking a visual that is uh, area chart we will be taking we will take and this area chart we will get the calendar date and then we can get the measure just now we selected sales measure so this is for year we will select the month so as default it will be revenue so if you click revenue it won't change but then now we are going to click select the profit profit it got changed and now if you select the cost it got changed so we will need to see whether it is coming correctly or not so what we can do is we can create a table and in that table we will create the date we will get the year and the day and the month and we will select this measure which we just now created so this is what we got so now we are selecting the profit and the profit chart we got here and we need to see whether the profit values are correct so this is the profit values which we got it is 7696201 and here we have already have the measure with respect to the profit and this is same these two values are same now this is for revenue and we will see whether here also it will change to revenue now we selected here revenue and the value we see it is the same value the total is 20 by 9 and the total is same here and we will try for cost just the cost and here it changed to cost the same value here both the prices are the same value 
Now, if you see here, the title is not changed. The title is always showing as says the measure for month. If you want to change the title, what we can do is that we can create another measure. In this measure, we can give the measure name as title name equals to selected value. We just need this name. This slicer name we need to get. So selected value and the slicer name. Slicer table name. And where we need to give this measure, you can select this chart and you can go to the properties. And here in the general tab, you come and here title heading we will be seeing. And of course, the text which we need to give for the title. Here, the conditional formatting you need to select. And in this conditional formatting, this is the field value. And here you need to select the measure and give it. This is the title name measure, which we just now we selected and you can give it. Okay. So of course here we selected cost and now it is showing as cost. Now, if you are selecting the profit, it will be showing as profit. Now, if you select the for revenue, it will be showing as revenue. Now, if you are not selecting anything, still it will be showing the revenue actually, because we have created the measure like that. But if you are not selecting anything, it should do, it should show the revenue. That means the first index value, that will be the revenue value, it should be showing. So this is one simple way for changing the column with respect to the selection of slicer. Hope this will give insights and this will give ideas for you to do it more. Thank you. Have a nice day.